The Global Medical News Network podcast is brought to you by Elsevier. I'm Sherry Boshert, reporting for the Global Medical News Network. At the University of California's Diabetes Update and Advances in Endocrinology and Metabolism, Dr. Elizabeth Murphy spoke about appropriate glycemic targets in diabetes, how low to go. Dr. Murphy is Chief of Endocrinology at San Francisco General Hospital, and after her talk, she answered a few questions. Dr. Murphy's here to speak with us, and basically, you, you covered the most recent studies looking at the data on how low to go. What's the take-home message from any of that? Well, the short and simple answer is don't change a thing. The take-home message is, for now, we should continue with the same glycemic targets we'd had in the past. There's a lot of new data to show that those glycemic targets are still appropriate. Follow-on trials from the UK PDS with follow-up after the period of tight control showed that there was a very significant cardiovascular benefit in those patients, suggesting that the A1C levels achieved in that trial of 7% were beneficial. Uh, The new trials that were looking for even tighter control did not show any conclusive advantage of A1C lowering to levels below 7%. However, those are in the very early stages of reporting at a time when a difference wasn't seen in the UK PDS either. So I think we still have to wait for the final data on that to see if going even lower would be better. But at this point, there's uh, good evidence that 7% for the majority of our patients is appropriate and in some individuals, even lower may be appropriate for microvascular risk reduction. So basically, less than 7% for most patients. When would you go maybe higher or maybe lower for any particular patient? Right. So I think the patients who would be beneficial for it to have targets even lower might be patients who were recently diagnosed, and so short duration of disease. Patients who at this point don't have a lot of comorbidities or cardiovascular disease, those are the ones that there's the most data to show they're going to really have benefit of lower A1C levels. Patients who have a lot of comorbidities, macrovascular and microvascular disease already in late stages, lower life expectancy, such as five years or less, those are the patients where perhaps less aggressive glycemic targets, such as less than 8%, might be more appropriate. Dr. Murphy, thanks for speaking with us today. Dr. Murphy said she has been a consultant for Daiichi Sankyo Company, which markets drug treatments for diabetes. For the Global Medical News Network podcast, I'm Sherry Bosher reporting. <laughs>